hi guys welcome to the last part of this tutorial today i'll be showing you how you can force a t-pose onto your model in motion builder import her into marvelous designer and use her motion for your clothes animation so this is not a detailed tutorial on motion builder I'll just show you a few clicks you need to carry out this t-pose process first we need to open our model which we saved on the desktop so wherever you saved your model you open it from there so we go to open we saved our model on the desktop so we click on the Jane folder and select the catwalk sequence for the model FBX file so open enter so this is our model if you play you find out that our model has the motion so I'll take it back so before we start let me explain the basic tools you'll be needing at the top at the top here you find this two that this is the rotate tool so when you use this you can rotate uh, around your workspace you can use this to move to move on in your workspace then if you want to zoom in you can use your middle middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out so those are the basic uh, basic tools you'll be needing and if mistakenly you select your model to unselect just double click and you unselect it now back to the main business so here we have to create free frames like empty frames where we can force the t-pose so that there will be a transition from the t-pose to your motion so we have to take this you drag to the left you drag this to the left to create the number of space you want so i want to have minus 30 some go as far as minus 70 depending on your choice so i i'll drag this to the beginning and you notice that this was formerly at zero now it's at minus 30 so from minus 30 to zero there are free frames there's nothing there so even even if i play now nothing will happen until zero so now I want to force the tipos from minus 30 to zero. Then from zero, my motion starts. How do I do that? So I'll select the skeleton of my model by dragging from the right to the left. So then I go to window, add property view. Now here in rotation, double click on the first one, make it zero. Double click on the second one, make it zero. Double click on the third one, make it zero. Then double click on the k and close now you see that our model now has a t form so if i play this now you find out that it's going to transition from a t to the motion if i send the model now to marvelous designer it's not going to recognize the minus 30 the t pose from minus 30 to zero because marvelous designer has its frame reading from zero so i have to move the t pose i have to move the motion to zero that is increasing the actual motion by 30 so that the t pose can shift to zero how do i do that i'll go to window still still with the skeleton selected i'll select f curves so this will pop up so i'll select rotate and this is the rotate motion this is the rotate motion and select translation so i'll highlight everything and then hold down the left click here to select everything and we move it down to zero so you notice that it has reached zero so I'll then drag this one I'll then drag this one to zero so I'll close it so now I'll change this because there's no motion from minus 30 to zero now so I'll have to just start the frame from zero so if I play it now you find out that our motion plays from a t-pose nice so now I can export my model 
let me just overwrite the saving let me just save it and overwrite yes now let's import our model in marvelous designer so we select file import fbx so you find your model where you saved it open okay So this is our model now. So to check if our model has the animation attached to her animation. Okay. And this when we play you find out that our model has the animation and it transits from a T pose. So that is how you create your model, force a t-post into your model and use your model in Marvelous Designer. Thanks for watching.